Hello guys, so in continuation to my video on about how they erase our memories and in general uh, damage our cognitive functions and so to say neutralize, castrate our brain, I would like to add the following. So we had so-called opposition leader named Navalny. Uh, who was uh, rumored to be some sort of a CIA agent and who was prepared at Yale University in the United States to rule our country. But it didn't work out because he just has this uh, repulsive looks to him, in my opinion, and he doesn't appeal enough because he doesn't look, you know, organic, natural as a person. So allegedly he was poisoned and when he was poisoned he blamed Russian Secret Service FSB for it while uh, other, while they said that it, it wasn't them. So as far as I heard a uh, clairvoyant talking about this case from India called Archena and her predictions and her vision of things have came true before. Uh, thus she predicted that COVID shit. So she said that his mistress portrayed here called Maria Pevchik was really the one who poisoned the guy. Uh, and that she works for MI6. This was the same what FSB said about her. So she basically uh, was in the hotel with him and allegedly they had sex. That's what uh, the clairvoyant said. And uh, she poisoned the, him, uh, they had sex, and uh, then uh, he, fell, uh, he fell ill on the plane, and he fell into coma. And then they were posing uh, together for pictures with her and his wife, uh, that looks more like his sister, but I don't want to elaborate on this, because I will lose a track of thought. In any case, that thing had a father, but this thing doesn't look like her father at all. It looks like some Polish dude also made in IVF lab with Soros, George Soros genetics or something like that. And what he did was uh, he was advertising these uh, micro needles called skin port and he said that he had this startup company that delivers those micro needles into a skin layer called interstitium which as uh, a scientist just discovered and they didn't know about it before you mean before when they explained every disease with their dna model that doesn't exist in my opinion so so that type of needle was for delivery of vaccines. And another business that this dude had uh, was that he uh, won a tender, the government tender in Moscow, the company that he was leading, uh, and this company was uh, installing devices that would uh, check and control uh, the loss of electric current uh, on the electric wires. So all these uh, posts where you have this electricity, uh, he installed some kind of device that alleged that it was uh, checking if there was any electric current loss or leak in the electric current in the system. Now, 
In my opinion, the purpose of that device was not what he claimed it was. And I think it was some MI6 development which would uh, cause brain damage and concussion uh, and damage to the whole organism via some sort of uh, other, either frequency or electromagnetic wave uh, that would attack the whole uh, organism of a human and specifically the brain and the skin. And um, I think that's what they were doing. And yeah, they uh, really work for MI6. And uh, this is what they do to uh, in every country, I su suppose. Because I think they invented some sort of device uh, that can mm, spread this uh, shit across if they want to um, because uh, it would activate inside your on the cell cellular level every fiber of your body will be damaged that's what they do so basically they say they do these smart uh, devices and they, I don't think the purpose is what they claim it is so, of course, uh, Russian Secret Service knew about this guy. They knew that he works for MI6. And uh, the question is how he won the tender to install all these devices on the electric current wires all around the world. So, basically, I think that they attack us with the weapons the technology of which we do not know because it could be multi-step uh, technology like for example they give you a vaccine or they insert something in the food and then they emit certain frequencies that's supposed to interact with whatever they put into the vaccine or the food okay that's how it works so this has two stages like in chess and you cannot they are so random you cannot immediately connect them together another thing that they do uh, is they um, like i saw in somebody's youtube video somebody made a video of it i think it was a channel called spirit realm or spirit world exists well she made a video about them uh, and i saw several videos like that in uh, um, african-american so-called community in the native community in the united states so they were basically claiming that firefighters were masons really and uh, they are ones with the police and that they oftentimes use the sirens uh, and they arrive where, where there is no fire, really. And they use it to harass people. So I think that a combination of these flashing lights and um, the siren, which is a very uh, uh, non-harmonious uh, sound, uh, gives an effect of concussion in combination gives an effect of concussion on a person eardrums uh, brain and uh, it also uh, causes uh, uh, people to to lose memory and have other effects on the brain and the skin so our skin is very important organ and it is the largest organ and it is as important as uh, uh, as our brain so our skin is like the surface of a display so the the so-called thinking mechanism analyzing mechanism is built inside our skin layer like it is built in your uh, screen uh, on your phone so the same effect 
this is what our skin has. And uh, yeah, another thing that I wanted to mention is that I wanted to really uh, stress your attention to this, uh, that the so-called virus, it really exists, but it's not a virus. It's something they uh, call a virus, but it's really is based on um, etheric oils, amino acids, and something in the gaseous form that they mix heavy metals and organophosphate, and they turn it into this aroma gas form, and then they um, damage and damage people with this and they call it a virus that's why as i explained differential di diagnosis for covid is also mercury poisoning but mercury you can have mercury in a subdermal under your skin through the vaccine you can get it you can get it accidentally touching it you can be poisoned with mercury because uh, it gets through your skin you can get mercury poisoning through inhaling or swallowing it. So there are different ways of distribution. So they just made a compound. They joined one, one chemical element, for example, mercury, with other elements. Uh, for example, your bodily fluid excretions, human blood, for example. And they did it to something to fortify it. And uh, thus they made a pathogen in the bio lab. And that's why uh, the conjunctivitis was the main um, sign of this. And that's why they said that uh, uh, the virus comes, comes from the bats. When in reality, they also take mercury from the best blood, in my opinion. So this was all done by MI6, MI5, British intelligence. And uh, another important thing that I wanted to mention, that uh, this does affect also uh, animals. These bioweapons that they use, that... Uh, for example, killed a lot of people, mostly in the United States, by the way. And it killed a lot of animals, too, because uh, it exacerbates chronic illnesses. So uh, what they use as a bioweapon, uh, people with cancer died sooner. Or, for example, it uh, produced this effect of rapid aging on the internal organs of the dogs that's what i think happened so a lot of dogs that i knew uh, they got infected in back in 2020s and they died in a period of uh, two years so first it was this infection when everybody got in infected because from from uh, after it got spread on the people, it got spread on animals too. So they also killed a bunch of dogs. And now they are trying to... They are trying to say, as Biden said, that this pandemic is over. But as you can, you could probably see that he was laughing at Queen Elizabeth funerals. That's because he partly also suffered from that. So these are the methods that they use to screw up our brains even further on. And they use it also to exacerbate the illnesses that we may have potentially and uh, that we already have or might have. And also this causes rapid aging, in my opinion. <laughs>